before you leave today, you must be able to fill the prescription. In plat 2, we say don't use must. But here you can use must, that's fine. You understand? How many types of stations we have in the exam? Either there is a patient there, or there is no patient. Again, either there is patient, or there is no patient. If there is no patient, you don't talk. You don't say anything, you don't talk to anyone. The examiner is sitting there, I don't care. If there is no patient. So if there is no patient, it's just you and just you and the prescription. You're gonna fill it, you're not gonna verbalize anything, you're not gonna say anything, you're not gonna talk to anyone. Just you and the prescription. And we'll talk about it. And if there is a patient, if there is a patient, if there is a patient, it will be written in the question that he is admitted for a condition, he's managed, he's gone home. Give him his prescription. Or he is coming to the hospital, he will be admitted and prescribed for him the medication. If there is a patient, I am not going to take history. I am not going to say, I can see from my note that you had MI. When did you have it? How did? No. I will ask him. I can see from my note that you had MI. If he was admitted and he's gone home. If he was, and go home. I can see from my note that you had heart attack. Yes, doctor. I'm really sure about the experience. How do you feel now? I'm fine. Done. I've been asked to prescribe for you your medication. Okay? Your medication. Yes, doctor. Are you on any medications regularly? Any allergy to anything? Any medical condition? Done. Again, any medical condition? Are you on any regular medication? Do you have any allergy? So if there is a patient, if there is a patient, how many questions did I ask? If there is a patient, one, two, three, Four. Number one, I can see from my note I had heart attack, for example. Or you had, or you have, or you whatever. How do you feel now? That's it. Gone. Number two, do you have any medical condition? Number three, are you on any medication? Number four, guys, how long will it take from you? Guys, that's it. This is your history. And be careful because... When there is a patient, sometimes in the question, the medications are not written. The medication are not written. And when you ask him, are you on any medication? He will give you a bag of medications. A bag of medications. And on the boxes inside, every single box has its own. Those name, everything you will need will be on each box. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, if you don't ask him, it's there. He's not going to give it to you. Yeah. Exactly as if, as if it's an examiner giving you investigations, yeah. investigations, for example. If there is a patient, which is the case nowadays. There is a patient there, and the question, no medication written. When you ask him, are you in regular medications? He will give you Some medications. a box or a bag with the boxes inside. And inside, guys, it's always written. Don't worry. On the box, is written. Not like back home, we do this. No, no, no. It is written. Sticker with all the details that you need. You don't even need to open the BNF. Clear. Yeah. You don't even need to open the BNF. So, before you start the prescription. Sometimes I do have a patient. Sometimes I don't have a patient. If I do have a patient, if I don't have a patient in the exam, do you talk to anyone? Do you take history from anyone if there is no patient? No, nothing. Just you and the prescription. You fill it and you go. How would they know this is my prescription? From your details because you're going to fill your details and that's it. But if there is a patient, nothing but. How do you feel? I can see from my note, whatever. Do you have any medical conditions? Are you on any medications? medications? Any allergy. Do you have any allergy? 
كبير and they played a bet in this station and they only wrote on the question they wrote on the question, question the antibiotic what do you mean they wrote in the question paper amoxicillin and they wrote in the same paper the patient is allergic to penicillin that's the only medication they wrote on the paper clear then the rest of the medication is not written is when you ask him he gives it to you so you will be now asked to write an antibiotic and medication that he has clear yeah and if you are chilled if you are relaxed if you are chilled and relaxed in the exam wallah you're gonna be you know you're gonna go to the cubicle you chill you relax you practice trust me you will go and you will be an actual wolf whenever there is something in the cubicle don't hesitate to pick it and look at it don't be like no no i'm sorry is it okay if i just you give me allow me for a few seconds take pick whatever if you don't even know because nobody will tell you there is something there you understand mm. i will tell you a story real life story happened with me my exam it was an iron deficiency anemia case okay it was follow up blood result she was sitting on the chair and underneath the chair yeah on the floor yeah there was a packet of biscuits wallahi i'm not lying that's what happened with me a packet of biscuit i have not had my rest station yet i didn't know what is this and on the other side you know lying resting on the seat yeah the follow up result two papers yeah you know when you have a paper and paper holder and it was there so when i was talking to her yes i can see from my note that you had such and such she gave me the first mm-hmm. one so okay such and such but i can see there is something here and there is another plastic folder with paper there so i need the rest wallahi i'm saying wallahi then okay and what then what happened did you go for any other result yes i went the week later for this result she gave me the other one okay that i'm showing you nobody will you know but it's fine us can try to you know then there is a something there i don't know what is this wallahi when i got fed up i said to her, by 60 minutes there is something in the cubicle i want to use whatever here okay so i said to her may I ask are you any medications no there is nothing you want to tell me no can you please tell me what is this on the chair here <laughs> wallahi i'm saying wallahi she started laughing she said no, don't bother this is just the basket for my rest station <laughs> we carried on i passed the station i got 11 or 10 out of 12 it's fine my point is if there is something in the cubicle and if you are so relaxed you will pick these things you will pick in the cubicle there is a new chart you going to have to use it you will pick in the cubicle there is patient document you will pick in the cubicle there is a sick note on the on the, on the table but that only will come if you are relaxed in the in the, in the exam. relax you practice then you go to the exam like a normal kind of practice so my point is don't hesitate to ask always go with this attitude and this mentality of um some doctors they miss mannequins antenatal on the table wallahi in the even in the mock some doctors they miss otoscope it's on the table so please try your best to have a good look anyway so we're going to start now with the prescription that appeared in the exam and do we know if there's a patient do nothing you and the, the prescription if there is no patient uh, if there is no patient but if there is a patient you know what to do okay. medication medical condition allergy now can you please write down the scenarios because these are the scenarios that you need okay the first scenario you are an fy2 doctor in the acute medical unit muhammad subhi aged 53 is diagnosed copd diagnosed copd presented with pneumonia he was admitted to the ani last night the consultant decided 
for treatment for pneumonia. And it is written underneath the medications. Amoxicillin, 500 mg. TDS for seven days. Tiotropium, tiotropium bromide, two buffs nocturnal. Tiotropium bromide, two buffs nocturnal. Levothyroxine, oral, once daily in the morning. Levothyroxine. PO, OD, PO means per oral OD. Okay, and man, man, M A N E, means morning, noct, night. Statin, P O, P O, O D, noct, nocturnal, evening, night. Anyway, other information. The patient has penicillin allergy. The patient has. This is the question. And, sorry? Statin, what's the medication? Amoxicillin, 500 mg. TDS, TDS means three times daily. For seven days. Tiotropium bromide, two buffs nocturnal. Levothyroxine, PO, OD, PO, per oral OD, once daily. Sorry, no dose. Morning. Statin, PO, OD, which means PO per oral OD once daily, nocturnal. Other information the patient is allergic to? Penicillin. Write the, med the, pres the medication in the prescription sheet. Now, when I open the cubicle, when I open the cubicle, this station will come in two forms. How many forms? Two. Two forms. Either there is no patient and in that case, they will write for you all the medications. If there is no patient, they will write for you all the medication. Or it comes as there is a patient and they only write the antibiotics and the rest, the regular medication is when you ask. He will give you the books and the box like a, a, a small bag with the medications and the medication has everything that you need mm -hmm. guys is are you lost the, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, the first one uh, will be written the rest will be if there is no patient everything will be written if there is patient only the new medication will be written and the regular he's bringing from he's bringing from home with him so you're gonna take it from him and prescribe it clear Yes. Okay, this is the question. Okay, when we go to the cubicle in the prescription, how many papers are we going to find in the cubicle? Four. Three. Three. Why three? Uh, the, the stem. The, the stem. The stem with the with the medications. Oh. The second page or the second paper will be the patient details. The patient what? Detail. detail why because i'm gonna fill the prescription with these details name age date of birth address and the third paper is the prescription clear so in the exam you'll find the prescription paper for the patient details and the question, the stem with the medications. Clear? Yeah. If there is a patient, ask him for make sure you ask him because he will have, he will have some regular medication with him. Clear? Yeah. Okay. Now, let's start filling the prescription. Guys, are we breaking it down now? So, yes. okay. Let's start. Am I going slow? Yes. yes. Slow. Yeah. yeah. I can I can do it in 20 minutes, but I, yeah. I want to make sure that I'm moving. You are you know what's happening, you know? I can do it in 10 minutes. Trust me like this. You know, the new course is is, is recorded in I mean about I I I, I cannot fill 50 hours. You understand? <laughs> so, okay. Let's go to the prescription. Let's go now to fill that prescription. All of you open the first page. The first page. 
the first page on the top right hand side is what you need this is what you need this is your history taking this is if you make a mistake here at your own risk so and the question is written Muhammad Subhi date of birth 10th of January 1986 and it is written the address 13 Rufford Road Liverpool okay so hospital number whatever so how would you fill it on the right hand side on the right box one thing you need to know you don't need to you know the top two boxes Half of the information will not be written in the question. Don't bother. Don't bother. What you need to make sure that you felt name, date of birth, address. Clear. So, hospital number, if it is written, fill. If it is not written, don't. And it might not be there. It's fine. Name, all fill the name. First and last. Address. All fill the address, and I told you where to find name, address, date of birth in a separate paper, as you can see. Yeah, I told you there is three paper one for patient details, one for the question and the prescription. Yeah, so fill the details date of birth, date of birth, NHS number. If it's there, fill it. But capital letters, the name, the name is in capital letters and the address capital letters and the date of birth 10th of January 1986 capital letters okay the name and the address guys capital letters and you should use the pen the blue or the green black. the black <laughs> black pen and they will leave in the cubicles Blue and black. Yes. So, yes. So, come to the left hand side on the top, left hand side on the prescription. This information, this information, 90% is not going to be there in the question. Which is, which word, what is the hospital, consultant name, date of admission wait height if it's not there please please do not fill it if it's not there do not fill it last mock my dear brother my dear brother dr iad or Iaz, do you know him my dear brother in the problem colleague or no 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 in a medical error in a medical error station, he said to the examiner, because I sit with them, I tell them what to look for, and after I tell them what is the main point, what's the main problem in the mock. He said to him, I'm really sorry, I will let my colleague apologize. He's talking to the patient, to the, you know, okay? And he said to him, you will? Yes, yes, I will bring him. No, the consultant. I will talk to my consultant and he has to apologize for you. He said, really? Yes, yes. You're going to bring him? He said, I will bring him. Mr. Raj, he's going to come. Where did he bring Mr. Raj? Name. You give him a name. I don't know. He actually gave the examiner a name. Mr. Raj. I'm going to bring Mr. Raj. He said to him, who's Mr. Raj? He said, the consultant. I'm going to bring Mr. Raj. So do not make things up, guys. Do not make things up, please. Yeah? So if nothing is here, if there is no names for consultant, word, weight, height, which is not going to be, don't fill it. So what is the most important part in this prescription? Right side. Right side. Yeah, that's it. That's why you, that's your main concern. And by the way, this is copy and paste of the prescription the exam. Now, flip the first page, but remind me to come to it. Yeah, flip it. You don't need it. You don't need it. Only on the station you will need it. Okay. The first page. What is the first page for? Antibiotics. Only antibiotics. Mm. Only antibiotics. Okay. Only antibiotics. The second page. 
the second page only for regular medication only for regular medication the third page as required prn any medication as required we have you watched the old course yes the long one the this bad one you remember in the surgery i said to you any patient who's admitted give him what any patient will be admitted delta parin you see subhanallah this is their own prescription in the in the gym and it is written delta parin written printed in the station printed in the prescription in the regular under the regular did you see it did you see under regular it is no no how it's written guys under the regular medication delta parin is written Guys, okay, 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 it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Some of them have it, some don't, it's fine. You're not gonna even use it, yeah? Okay, it's just printed, printed there, okay? Just in case the patient is admitted, you prescribe it. Anyway, so let's go to the antibiotic and the regular and the PRN as required. Okay? What's wrong? Okay? Guys, we're not going to fill it. There is no... Don't worry. No. No, no, no. Okay? Guys, come to the antibiotics and the regular and the PRN. If it is written. Okay. Morphine. Is it PRN or regular or antibiotics? PRN. If required. No. Yes. Now, now, Every single medication, because that's now I will focus on your problem, the, the mistakes that we make. Parastamol, I can write it as regular and I can write it as PRN, depending on the prescription. If it is regular, it will be written, for example, parastamol, 500 mg, four times daily for five days. Is that regular or PRN? Regular. And I can write parastamol PRN. PRN. So please. PRN and regular, depending on the prescription, that's for the painkiller. That's for? But statin? Regular. regular. Uh, Amlodipine? Nifidbine? Ramipril? Ahmed Bril? Regular. 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 Amoxicillin? Antibiotics. So now, please make sure you filter first. But not filter first that you will sit down and filter. No, no, quick. I have five medications which coming back to our prescription mm -hmm. that you wrote, you all wrote. Amoxicillin, mm -hmm. where? Mm -hmm. The first page. Pyotropium bromide, mm -hmm. PRN. PRN. PRN, okay? Levothyroxine, regular. 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 Statin, regular. 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 So filtering the medication, I don't have a problem with you. The only thing that sometimes I worry about is that painkiller, because mm -hmm. painkiller, Sometimes they write it regular, which means 500 four times for five days. That's regular for five days. Sometimes PRN. So just if it's regular, it will be written. If it's PRN, it will be written. That's no negotiation. Okay? So let's fill the prescription that you wrote. Okay? First, I will start to add, leave the amoxicillin now. Leave the amoxicillin now. I will start levothyroxine. Levothyroxine and statin. Both of them regular, yeah? yeah? How would you write down statin? I need one of the doctors to come out now and as if statin, is there any dosage there? No dosage. However, in the station where the patient is having his own medication, yeah, everything is written. But here it's not written. But in the station where the patient will say, here you go, it is written. So I know the doctors, if there is one medication and the dosage not there, how do you get it out of the B and F? How? How do you get it out of the B and F? So come doctor. Sit down. We'll give you 30 seconds. Statin. Any statin. 
Guys, if the dosage only, if the dosage is not written, then use the BNF. And in the BNF, by the way, you will get the medication in life. No time. For 30 seconds. You should be in statin. And you should get used to it. Wow. Wow. The vegan list, that's five seconds. What happened? Do you remember the page or? Okay, how did you get statin? You explained to me. Hyperlipidemia. Hyperlipidemia. Okay, what did you get hyperlipidemia from? I just searched for the index. Which index? Open, show me. Which index you show the for hyperlipidemia? This index, the small thing. The, okay, where is it? How did you get the word hyperlipidemia? Just, uh, just searching from here? Yes. Well, I went that way. Okay. Seriously, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Seriously, I'm impressed. That's it. That's guys, <laughs> guys, he actually searched the, the hard way. He looked at the top, you know the top, in the top of the BNF, yeah? yeah? It's as per letters. And he looked for the H. H, hyperlipidemia, and he got it in like no time. He didn't even use the index on the back. I will use it, uh, huh? Okay. This is the difficult way. But subhanallah. <laughs> sometimes, yeah? Sometimes, yeah? Okay, I want you to read for them. Okay? Read for them. Out loud. Okay. The dose. Okay. Prevention of cardiovascular events in patients with atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease or DM by mouth, adult, initially 20 to 40 milligram once daily. Increase if necessary up to 80 milligram once daily. Okay. Okay, Kamal. Adjusted at intervals of at least four weeks. Adjusted at? Intervals of at least four weeks. Clear? That's Review it. Thank every you. four weeks. Thank you very much. Review every? Four weeks. Thank you very much. Okay, he got it the difficult way, but quick, very quick. Mm -hmm. Basically, he was looking at the top here. You know the letters, yeah? yeah. H, I, J. But this is quite difficult because we need an index. So the index, guys, is in the back of the book, yeah? The index is in the back here, okay? This is the index. You look for the letter S and go for statin, ST, and then the number, then you will go there. Please, guys, index, okay? So... When you come for the statin, everything you need is there. Those form, how long, to review when, after what, everything is there. So, the doctor said, so, yeah? Sophisticated now, huh? So, in the index, there is one mistake that sometimes I see doctors make. Okay, so in the back here, guys, this is the index. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Guys, it's very easy. Alphabetical order. Okay? But sometimes the doctors, they make mistake because you need to be fast. Mm -hmm. What they do is, Dr. Ahab, they come for A. This is A. Okay? A. And after A, you see them in the mock doing this. For example, it's warfarin. For example, it is warfarin. It is what? Warfarin. So after A, this is A. This is A. It is warfarin. They're looking for So after A? No, after A is B. Five, six pages, B. After B, five, six pages, C. You understand? So please B, B, fast, quick. It's W. So at the end. You are in A and it's I. So flip seven, eight pages, quick. Because you need to be fast, yeah? Then when you come to statin here, in the question, statin dose is not written. Mm. But when you come to statin here, everything you need is written. And it is the dose, 10 to 20. And review after four weeks. Four weeks. Very important because I will tell you why. Review after four weeks. Will you have the same statin for good? No, it will be reviewed. Review after four weeks and maximum dose of? 80 and it is written indication for high blood pressure indication for whatever yeah so can you all bring the prescription so bring now we're gonna prescribe statin okay so all of you bring the first page antibiotic no. <laughs> regular yeah regular okay so
So drug name? Drug name? Staten? Capital. Guys, guys, all capital. Whatever, simvastatin. This one that I was talking about, simvastatin. Okay, so those. It's simvastatin. I should pick up one. Yeah, yeah. It's when you open statin, guys, you see simvastatin and and yeah, yeah. Yeah, anyone. Yeah, anyone. Simvastatin. Yeah. So those, those twenty milligram root. Oral. Oral. Can I have P -O. P -O. You can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yeah. Start the date. A date of exam. Today's date. No. Exam date. Yeah. Exam date. That's what I, no, no, I'm saying today. Today's exam date. Today, guys, today is date. Which exam date. The exam date, which is your exam date. <laughs> Start the date, today's date. <laughs> or the exam date. <laughs> Sorry? No, 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 no. 20th, no, 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 no. Normal. 20th of September, it's fine. Yeah. yeah. So 2009, 2009, because you don't have a space to write September capital or September. No, no. Date format is normal. Yes, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Guys, clear. Stop date. No, no, no capital. Guys, the capital is the name of the medication, the name of the patient. That's it. Milligrams, no. So, no, no. Guys, the capital is my name, the patient name, your name, yeah? Medication name, but nothing else. Okay? Nothing else. So, milligram is small, everything is fine. So, stop date is... What was written in the BNF? It was written... Review after, Review. so I will write in the stop date, one month, four weeks, 28 days, whatever. So if I start starting at the, on the 1st of October, so end the 28th of October. And then, then additional information, can you see? Mm -hmm. Review after four weeks. Okay. Review, four weeks. Review. Four, ah, sorry? Four, sorry? four weeks or one month? Is it four weeks or one month? Four weeks. Four weeks. Any, bro. <laughs> Imagine if, if I'm gonna review the patient after four weeks. No, 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 it's one month. I had three and a half weeks. It's fine. No, no, seriously. Don't worry. Don't worry. It is fine. Guys, what if? What if my exam date was 10th of February? Yeah? And I need to write 28 days. And Dr. Mo, I forgot that February is 28 days and then I may, you know, it's fine. It's totally fine. Clear? So, stop date, guys. You don't need to. First of October, 28, 29, maybe 30, 31st, the first of November, it's fine. Okay, guys? Please, it's not. Okay? You see, that's why the course when it's recorded was like this. Everyone has to yeah. record, don't record it when we study. Anyway, guys, let's know 28 days, two weeks, three, uh, two and a half weeks, uh, two weeks around, it's fine. No, no, so, she was asking that the additional information was. Ah, no, the additional review after four weeks. No, 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 small, no, small, guys, small, yeah. Guys, the capital is the name of the medication, your name. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, just because I, I don't want to get tired before we give what I want to give. That's why. I just want to, you know. So, bleep, don't fail. Pharmacy, don't fail. Clear? Okay. Don't. It's fine. No bleep, no pharmacy. We can just reopen something for the air. Sorry? Yeah. We can, we can. Um, and who are, who are UK is always called about. Doctor! We can open the back door as well. That will, you know? Okay. We can, anybody can open, guys, the back door, like, there are the drug addicts in this area, and we have them here. Wallah, you know? Huh? But there are mannequins. No, no, just leave it. Just leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Uh, they switched off the fan. That's why. Mm -hmm. You can bring it and put it here and switch on the fan. This fan. Okay? So, okay. it's there. You can bring it to me.
Why did everything be working so it should be working? Huh? No, it's not working. No, it should be working. That's what I'm saying. No, it's working. Look. Look, it's not working. I said at first. She just appeared for half an hour. Sorry? Just appeared for half an hour. So, next. Next. So, the medication is going to be given when? When? Guys, evening. So, circle the evening. I will advise you. Forget about the dates. You know the dates? On top here? You know the dates here? People keep right first, second, third, to fill the dates. And then, the time will finish. And they're just writing dates here, and that's it. Please write the medication first. Are you, do you know what I mean? Yes, yes. If in this no box here, people keep writing, yeah? They are busy writing first of March, second of March, third of March, you know? And then the time will fill. No, just fill the medication and start the end and forget about that. date. At the end, I will write it. Next. Dr. Moves, nocturnal is bedtime or evening? Evening, nocturnal, it's fine. Whatever writing. It's fine, yeah. As long as not morning, it's fine. Evening or okay. Sorry. So guys, please know pharmacy you know prescriber name. Print your name, please capital. Please capital. Okay, your name. Please do not write initial. Why? Because it's confusing. No, 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 because you're going to fail if you write the initial. <laughs> seriously. Because, no, seriously, because... What do you mean by initial? Don't write MS. Okay. MH. I used to do this when I was third year. You know me, my name, and my girlfriend's name. First letter, first letter. You understand? No. You understand? Seriously. Please write your full name. Muhammad Fatih al for example. Ahmed Sobhi. Why? Because if there is no patient, how would they know it's yours? From your name. First and last. Yes. First and last, yeah? First and last. So, Muhammad, my name, my first. Sobhi, for example. So, first and last, okay? Don't sign. Don't do this. Guys. Don't. Your name. I feel you are lost. I feel I'm, I'm not happy with your facial expression. Okay. Next. Capital. Next or the name? Uh, name capital. Or yes, capital. Only capital. Sorry. No, only print. Print your name. Print your name. Okay. You wanna sign? You don't. It's fine by me. Your name. Okay. Even me in the hospital, when I consent a patient for surgery, I write my full name. When they say signature, my name again. It's fine. Your signature can be your name. But my main concern. If they are looking for the prescription, if they want to know who is this prescription, they will know. That's my main concern, guys, because that's what they do. If, if they cannot reach you, because in real life situation, if you fill a prescription and I don't know who filled it, it's a medical error. So, Next is levothyroxine. Levothyroxine, again, don't worry. Don't worry. You will not need to open the BNF. In the exam, what is the case scenario? One medication. What is the case scenario? One medication, you'll open the BNF. Don't worry. In the exam, the patient, if he's there, and he gives you a box of medication, it will be written everything. You don't need to open the BNF. If the patient is not there and there are five medications, what is the case scenario? They will leave one without those. Okay, but I like you to open the BNF because... There is a medication counseling stations, yeah? So, levothyroxine. Levothyroxine. Who wants to come and get the medication? Yes.
ليفوثيروكسين موجود 100% ال ايه She said, she said it's not there at first. It's not there. It's not there. You know, it can't be. So, levothyroxine, okay? Again, go to L in the index. Yeah? L, then come back here, open. Levothyroxine is there. And again, a regular medications usually, the patient will need to come for. Well, do you think the levothyroxine will be there for, for good, the same dose? No. no. So, always. You will use review after, same, start date, end date, okay? So, levothyroxine, the dose here is written, initially, 10, can you please read it for them? Because maybe I'll read something that I won't, but it's not written. It's better for you to read it. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, you understand? So, read it out loud. Okay, um, initially 50 to 100 micrograms. Initially, 50 to 100, that's the dose. Uh, micrograms once daily uh, adjusted in steps of 25 to 50 micrograms every three to four weeks adjusted according to the response every what so coming back to the same thing mm -hmm. i will get the medication thank you very much i will get the medication the name drug name is what <laughs> write down please drug name drug name levothyroxine dose 50 to 100 they said so feel free 50 to 100, feel free. Yeah, you can write 100, okay? Root, root, oral, PO, start the date. Today's date or the exam date. Stop date, four weeks or three weeks, whatever, three to four weeks. Prescriber signature, your signature, but name, don't sign, capital, and believe pharmacy, forget. Additional instruction. Review, review after three weeks or review after four weeks. Morning. You can, you can add it. Guys, an additional instruction is for you to add whichever you think you want. You you need to add. For example, a medication like alendronate. In additional instruction, what would you add? I would add. Sitting with plenty of water. So yeah, before or after, whatever. So please make sure that an additional instruction, write what you think you need or you feel that it needs to be there. Clear? Guys, no. Microgram, not fully. MG is the other one. But if you have a space and you have time, yes. Yeah, if you have a space and time, right there, but no. Yes. Yes. Okay? Or, or right microgram. It's fine, yeah? Next. But by the way, by the way, your job will be easier. Because the patient in this station will give you the book with everything. In each box of medication, everything is written. It should be even easier. But I'm just training you to the worst case scenario. You want to open the BNF? Open. Okay? So in, there's a two medication in worst case scenario. So worst case scenario, I'll get you one without details. And you open the BNF. Okay. Yeah. That's if. If it's two, then I need to open it uh, like twice, or just I, need, I can open it all together at a, at a time. You can, whatever you want. If you want to open at a time, okay. If you want to open twice, it's okay. Yeah. Sorry. How about the, the additional information at the review? If they are not in the, in the review, should I skip them? Guys, in the question, if it is written, something fill it. If it's that's if it's not written. If there is nothing to write, if she means if there is no additional instruction. Leave it blank. No, no. Next. Guys, there is a... Guys, 
there is a very tiny thing you need to see, yeah? Look in the regular here, yeah? Yes. Regular. Can you see on the top? Yes. yes. Date and time. Yes. Month. Yeah, yeah. Can you see date dash month and underneath times required? Yes. Can you see it? Yes. So the time is this arrow mm -hmm. parallel to morning evening. Clear. Yes. The date is this. So the transverse one and the vertical one is the time. Clear. There is no, no, I understand. I'm just telling you in case it's written time, yeah? There is time and arrow that way and boxes like this. And there is date. And boxes like this, yeah? Guys, can you see? Anybody can't see? Tell me, then I can tell you. That's not. So there is date, month. It's there. First of March, second of March, third of March. And there is time. And it's vertical, which is parallel right away to morning and evening. Anybody's lost. So if it's morning 8, I will highlight morning and I will write 8 a.m. Okay? And then 1st of March, 2nd of March, 3rd of March, clear? But that I will come to after I finish my medications. Because people, doctor, they get busy writing the dates after the first medication. And they end up by filling one medication. No, I don't care about this. As long as there is a start and end. And you will fill it at the, the beginning. Yes. No. no, just once. Okay. Guys, uh, let's move. Yes. Okay. So, what do you think? No, 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 no. Any. 8 a.m., 8 p.m., any, or 8, and then after 12 plus, uh, for example, if you're you talking about 7, so 12, 19, for example, sorry, you're going to write it, it's written here, morning, evening, yeah, sorry, no, no, guys, I, I regret now saying it, I should have just left it as it is, because now, you don't need to, you don't need to, Right, first, second, third, you don't. You don't. Yeah? Right? Start, end, everything. Next. Next. I have one minute. <laughs> but I have time, that's what I'm saying. Yes. But I don't have time. Because what I see in the book, people the write one medication and they write the dates. And that's it. Out of five medications. No? Use your time to. So what is the most important box in the prescription? The name of the Guys, is these boxes? My name. No, I'm saying these boxes here. Yeah. <laughs> the medication boxes. Fill the medication first. Don't pay attention to this. Clear? Okay. Okay, come to the antibiotics. Which page? First page. The first page. By the way, I will pick one doctor and second and third to fill prescriptions and I will give them the question here and I'm expecting you to fill this in four minutes. Four minutes. Seriously. Four minutes. Yeah? Second is antibiotic. Okay. What is written in the question? Uh, allergy to penicillin. And what is the first antibiotic written? Amoxicillin. Would you write amoxicillin? 10% uh, cross-matching. 10% cross hmm? cross-matching. Hmm. Oh, oh. uh, Crethromycin, sorry. Yeah. If it is written amoxicillin, and the patient is allergic, would you write amoxicillin? No. 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 What would you do? Open the bean F for amoxicillin. Open the bean F? Amoxicillin. Change it to? Clerotromycin. What is the IV or oral clerotromycin? IV. Uh, 
Angular. Great Romanian and Greek cross cross matching gosh of me. What do you mean English? What do you mean? Uh, there there is cross cross allergy that uh, anyone having penicillin allergy can have a uh, Great Romanian allergy ten percent in ten percent of cases. Guys, guys, if the patient the th the same question you have, yeah, mm -hmm. it's an exam question. I'm not gonna write amoxicillin. I'm gonna write clarithromycin. Okay. But what is the dose? How? Where? <laughs> it's there in the BNF. Okay. Again. Again. This is what you're gonna talk about. What's the name? Abdelaziz. This is an audit. Abdelaziz. 10% cross matching. Mm. <laughs> We're gonna write clarithromycin. Okay. Write it now. And then we can, we can make an audit after it was black too. <laughs> when you go to the hospital, seriously, that's an audit. 10% have cross matching, you know? No. In the exam, pay attention. Because amoxicillin will be written, and underneath in the question, will be written the patient is allergic to? Penicillin. Look, other information. The patient is allergic to penicillin. And what is the first medication here? Amoxicillin. Wallahi. Dr. Anna, how are you? Wallahi, nine out of ten. In the mock, they prescribe it. I said, Wallahi, but if you want to believe me, okay, you don't. Why? Because the fact that it is allergy, it is written the last line. The last line, which nobody read the last line. Sorry? I will not write it. No, no I'm saying nine out of ten do. No, I mean that I will not write it at all because I have to consult uh, someone about ah, no. the senior. Ah, you want to talk about, you're talking about the exam? No, if you are an FY2 doctor, and guys, listen carefully. If you are an FY2 doctor, and it is written amoxicillin, and it is written underneath, the patient is allergic to amoxicillin. And in the exam, you tell them, I will go to the consultant. If I am a consultant, and you come and tell me, excuse me, the patient is allergic to amoxicillin. And no, seriously, no, no, seriously. Can I write it or should I write another antibiotic? I will assess your cognition. <laughs> because if you are an FY2 doctor and you cannot change an antibiotic that the, 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 the patient is allergic to, no, what's your job then? No, I will ask which antibiotic I will change. I will not say Look, look, we're talking, I know what you're saying. We're talking about implant 2. And as an FY2 doctor, you will just click double click in the hospital protocol and it is written amoxicillin first line if the patient is added erythromycin if the patient you know you don't need consultant however i can write it down and i say and i will double check with my senior that's something else but not writing it and say i'll check with my consultant no please do please as an fy2 doctor Brains two years after med school, and you cannot write an antibiotic. No, you write an antibiotic because you know prescribing it. It is there, but you're prescribing alternative. alternative yeah? yeah. So. Additional information. Uh, the patient. Yeah, it's not an additional information. Wait. Uh -huh. Just mm -hmm. I need one doctor to come and get care for my. So, so we are sure that come doctor. What's your name? Anita. Anita. Yeah. Okay. Care for my. You don't even need to think twice. Amoxicillin is there. This is a, an exam question. I will write clarithromycin. The patient's allergic. However, be careful because they, they might not write the patient's allergic to and they change it thinking that, you know, this is the station, the, the allergic, yeah? Be careful. Yeah. Sorry? Yeah. Can you tell them the dose? Sorry? Yes, guys, please, please, guys, please, please. Stand, stand, stand up. Okay. So uh, the dosage of clarithromycin in adults: 500 mg once daily, usually for 7 to 14 days, increased to one gram once daily if required in severe infections, example pneumonia. Okay. Now, 
Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, this is clarithromycin. Clarithromycin has many indications. Many indications. So, number one, respiratory tract infection. Okay? Number two, Lyme disease. Number three, prevention of such, such and such. Number four, so I will choose the respiratory tract infection. And the dose is there, and everything is there. But please do not go to the other indications, yeah? You need upper or you need respiratory tract infection. Clear, guys? <laughs> guys, when you give a lecture, you're not going to start with the complication before you explain how to prescribe. So when I give a lecture, I first teach you how to fill the date and name, then how to prescribe, then interaction. Clear. Okay? So now, fill the clarithromycin, please, and you can say I'll double check with my senior, but there is no need. Okay? But be careful, because if there's no allergy, you will prescribe it. All right? Now, so, yes. so if the patient is allergic to amoxicillin, so if do we have to see amoxicillin first? And then... No. No, if he's a doctor, I'm allergic, you know. So we have to know that it should be classified. Yes. But I will tell you now because I have left two things the last. I've left allergy to fill and I've left the oxygen because there's a new station where you will fill oxygen. Okay? There is a new station where you will fill oxygen as well. What happened? Why, why did he see me shocked? <laughs> he seemed shocked. No, just my luck. About what? New stations. Oh, no, 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 it's not new. It's some just to prescribe oxygen. Okay. No, no new station. They added one of the prescription notes. Okay. Yeah. Now, back again. Mansoor, about to? La Kohara. So now, Guys, so antibiotics drug is clarithromycin. Dose five hundred. Root or start date. Today is date. Stop date. She said seven to fourteen days. She said seven to so one week. Prescriber signature is your name, GMC number. Your GMC number. Bleep. Don't bother. Indication. Pneumonia. It is written in the question. Anybody is lost. Sensitivity. Micro. Leave it. Don't bother. Don't fail. Sensitivity. Yes or no. Micro approved. Yes or no. Leave it. Additional instruction. Whichever you want. What do you think? You want to add an additional instruction? Review with senior. Review with senior. Perfect. She made you happy now, huh? Review with senior as the patient's allergy. Has allergy. For example, I might not write anything. Now. Now, if you all look at your prescription that you have filled, what did you fill in the regular medication? Statin and levothyroxine. What do you think just to uh, to fix things more and more? We know that the patient is not going to be prescribed amoxicillin, yeah? Mm -hmm. Why don't we prescribe it now? Just to... To make things complicated. No, no, to make things complicated. <laughs> I want you to get used to filling the prescription, guys. Okay. We know it's not going to be filled, yeah? Mm -hmm. But I have given you. Why don't you fill it? Try to fill it. Amoxicillin, drug name. Sorry? No, no, no. no. Guys, they understand me. Mm -hmm. I have given you in the question amoxicillin, yeah? Okay. The patient has allergy. Would you fill it? No, but we are training now to fill. Why don't you use it as a, a as an example now to fill With practice? Practice. Fill all of your amoxicillin. It's fine. Yeah, it's working. So, so amoxicillin, it is written 500 mg three times daily for seven days. Can you fill it?
Yeah, I will talk about this part now. Don't worry. But I need to fill it in 30 seconds. Drug name, amoxicillin. Dose, 500. Root, oral. Start date today. End date, seven days. Prescriber, signatures, GMC, bleep no. Sensitivity no. Micro no. Indication. Pneumonia. Additional information, nothing. Dr. Adam, how are you? You okay? What is his concern? What is your concern, Dr. Mohammed? Must be reviewed every 24 hours. In the hospital, we, I will tell you now, we, guys, listen carefully, please, because I will explain this in a minute, about 48 hours review, yeah? In the hospital, we, whenever you are on antibiotic, we do routine blood every two to three days, and you check the CRP. If it's going high or low, or the patient is improving, it's going down, but I'll explain it now, yeah? Just, yeah. Okay? Dr. Anna, she said, I'm addressing Muhammad's concern. You see how sophisticated we are? I'm addressing Muhammad's concern. Maja, Dr. Anna. So, yes, you finished the amoxicillin? Any issues filling it? No. So, sorry? Yeah, I will tell you the timing now. So I will come to this box now. Now. The patient is on statin. Yes. Yeah, and there is clarithromycin prescribed. Yes. If a patient is on clarithromycin and he's already on statin, what to do? Stop statin. Okay. So I have in PLAB2 only three interactions. Till now. Yeah? <laughs> And now, three interactions, yeah? One, and all of them, guys, all the interactions, clarithromycin with statin, clarithromycin with, guys are with me, yeah? Mm. Warfarin, clarithromycin with apixaban. These are the medication, and all of them with what? Clarithromycin. So if you have clarithromycin and statin in one prescription, what to do? Nothing. But, but, the end date of the clarithromycin, for example, according to our prescription, what is the end date for clarithromycin? Seven days. Seven days. What is the end date for clarithromycin? We said seven days. Which, which day? Today is the 13th. 20. 20. 20. So statin will start 21st. Statin will start? 21 or first? 21 OT. OT, sir? Yes. OT, 21. The statin will start 21. 21 of, uh, of October. Allah. <laughs> <laughs> huh? So. Guys, I will start the clear, uh, statin when? The day I stop. after. If I stop clarithromycin today, so statin tomorrow. Not today, tomorrow. Yes, so I will fill the antibiotic, then statin. Clear? What if he's already on statin? Sorry? He will be already on statin, and you're going to stop it for... All right. The time when he is on antibiotic. All right. Okay. Guys, if you lost, tell me. No. A valid question. If you are lost, I I don't know. Tell me. Now, why do we do so? Because clarithromycin increases what? The efficacy of statin. So it causes what is the side effect of statin? Muscle damage, abdominalis. So it increases the risk. So why should we do it? No, no, no. Stop it. So if Clarithromycin is prescribed from the 1st of March, stop date 8th of March. Statin will start the day 9th of March. Anybody is lost? No. Now, the second the medication is clarithromycin. Here you can use under clarithromycin or under statin, 
in additional instruction we said review after four weeks and you can say and to be started after clarification stop stop now we're writing things for free right whatever you want to write additional instruction write down what you want yeah additional instruction is written for you to just yeah mess around what do you want to think what do you want to do just, just write down clarification and warfarin Clarithromycin and warfarin. What is warfarin for? Can you stop blood from that? No. What is clarithromycin for? Infection. Can you stop clarithromycin? No. So that's what you know. I'm not going to stop any of them. They will both be prescribed. They will both be prescribed. But after warfarin additional instruction, I will write check or review. What? I know. I know. I have two options. I have two options. One option, guys, guys, I have two options. Clarithromycin, again, what is the interaction between gut and warfarin? Increases the effect of warfarin. Increases the effects of warfarin. What do you think? If you are given antibiotic that increases the efficacy of warfarin, so should you decrease warfarin? That's one option. I can even either decrease warfarin or write it as it is and the monitor. So our easy, safe way, same, and that monitor INR. Or you can say monitor INR as clarithromycin increases the efficacy of warfarin, and that's it. But I'm giving you the other option. If the patient is on 5 mg warfarin, you can make it 3, you can make it 4, and again monitor INR. So what is the point? Write the same dose. That's not my opinion. That's not my I wanted to make sure one thing. This is not my opinion. This is the BNF. But I'm just recapping what the BNF says, so just giving it to you as it is. Okay, the BNF said either decrease warfarin or or give the same dose and monitor INR frequently. That's it. Clarithromycin and Dalexaban. No interaction. No interaction, nothing. It's there, write it as it is, nothing. You seem surprised, Dr. What's Dr. Muhammad? Dr. Muhammad, you seem surprised. Dr. Anna, I'm helping Dr. Muhammad. Huh? You seem surprised. You paid for PLAP 2, 1,000 pounds for the exam, yeah? Just where you listening to your name from Dr. Ahmed. Ahmed, Muhammad, huh? Ahmed Zaki, had a dim, Enough, enough. We have an Arabic film where he's an Egyptian and they traveled to Europe and they got married or he like had a girlfriend who was from Europe and then she was pronouncing his name, not Muhammad, no, no, Muhammad. So that's what I'm saying to him now. Okay. Doctor, uh, so, Doctor, we need to open the BNF. No, 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 don't open the BNF. Guys, don't. Yes, do not open the BNF for drug interaction. Guys, let's move. Okay, now come to the part of, can you see, date and, can you see? Guys, this is the main concern. Guys, date. Mm -hmm. Date. How many boxes? Five. Five. But one of them is review. So you don't need to fill it. So first of March, second of March, third of March, fourth of March. Come to... This is 48 hours review after two days. Antibiotic? Yeah, 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 guys, I'm talking about the timing for antibiotic, yeah? Okay? Can you see? Can you see these vertical boxes for the time? Time. What do you mean time? If it will be given four times a day, I will write, for example, 8 in the morning, 8 a.m., then after eight hours is... After eight hours, two? Four, 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 which is 16. I said three, three, for example, three times, for example. After 16? Yeah, after 16, 2 a.m. Whatever, two, four, I mean, okay? 12. Okay? So my point is, According to your timing, this is your timing. The boxes, can you see? 
the vertical sorry guys date is the guys date is that one time is that one date is transfer time is vertical huh? You can write it, whatever. Guys, you can write 8 a.m., 2 p.m., uh, 8 p.m., for example. Or you can write 8 a.m., and then you can write in the 8 in the morning. And if it's after 12, afternoon, 16, 17, 18. Either or. Huh? Either or. The timing. Either a.m., p.m., or 16, 18, 20. Nothing. After we finish the, the lecture, because I'm using my phone, I will show you the interaction on my phone on, the, on my BNF. Anyway, guys, you confused about the time, yeah? Yes. Uh, I should teach you about the time now. Lecture? <laughs> Timing 8 a.m. or 12 <laughs> Yes, you confused. Yeah, I'm confused. What should we do? <laughs> Either whichever you feel comfortable with, yeah? Now, going back to the first and the most important page. The fi huh? Mother time? Oh my God. Are you okay? It's ready. The date. The date. First of March, second of March. You have only four or five books, but it's fine. Don't, don't. Yeah, yeah, fail watch ever there, and that's it. That's it, yeah. The review one will leave blank. Yes, yes. My exam was like, the afternoon time or noon time and I need to get the morning dose on the same day. Should I click on the morning dose or should I skip it? Your exam is in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, you are getting... <laughs> yes, his exam is 12 afternoon, yeah? And he wants to, 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 to write the dosage for the patient. Should he write from 8 a.m. or should he start from like 2 p.m.? 8 a.m. That makes it very sense, so much. <laughs> yes, 2 p.m. Yeah, you're writing the medication, right? I know, I know what you're saying. So write it from the time when you are now, 12 p.m., mm -hmm. and then carry on, hit the date out. You, so you agree in... Uh, agree skip after your time. Skip the morning dose. Yes, now, yes. It's not to, uh, you, skip you, the morning. You the, skin, the morning is gone. The morning, oh, the morning is gone. Your morning... Do you agree with us? Yes, 100%. Yeah. I don't know how to Guys, he's saying his exam is in the afternoon, so he will skip the morning dose. Yes? Yes. Okay? What if I don't? What if I don't, it's fine? If you do? If I mention morning time, it's fine? If I don't Yes, it's fine. Yes, 100%. Shall we move? Shall we move further? Now we're we'll going back to the long course. <laughs> Anyway, so guys, let's build the first page. First page. Uh, this is the most important part, which is the allergy part. Can you all see the allergy part? Okay. You see, the allergy on its own has its own signature. So. Allergy or sensitivity to what is written in the question? Write down the question. Sorry, it will write it. It will write, yeah. Sorry, capital, yeah. Type of reaction it will be written in the question. In the question, yeah, that the patient, for example, has rash, anaphylaxis, whatever. Type of reaction, what does what happens when he takes it. So write rash. By the way, it has to what you write, it has to be written in the question. And it will be written in the question. The patient develops rash. The patient develops uh, anaphylaxis. Yeah? Name? Name of the patient or the name of the consultant? Consultant. Your name. <laughs> Your name, yes. <laughs> Mr. Raj. <laughs> Your name or Mr. Raj name? Your name, signature date. Which day? The date? Yeah, the exam. exam day. <laughs> exam day, yeah. Yes. Okay? 
Guys, any anything, guys, guys, please, anything during the lecture, you know, we, we you've been here all day, you know, it's just we're not taking the piss, we're not trying to, we're just laughing and okay, don't don't take any. I'm sure you know me by now, yeah. So just, Masha okay. Brands, you know, okay, nice. So. This is a, a separate prescription from the palliative care. From what? Palliative care. So now this is prescription finished. Nothing is in the prescription, amoxicillin, statin. Okay? And the worst case scenario here is the drug interaction. And if the patient, in this case, same, same case, the patient can give you his medication. Don't be shocked. Guys, I, I've told you all the circumstances that can happen. Please, if there is a patient there, and there's no medication, you know that, she's showing you something on the phone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you know that, you know that, he's not a good observer. You know that there is a box of medication. If there's a box of medication, even if it's not written in the question, you need to fill it. Well, yes, yes. So, palliative care prescription. Let me give you the question. And let me give you the medication that you will have in the exam. Guys, I will give you the medications that you will have in the exam. That's what you're gonna have. So make sure you know them, you make sure you prescribe them because that's all you're gonna have, okay? Yes, boss. This I should take here. This is for time. Yes, time and date. Yes. This for the nurse to take it's taken or for the nurse. Take for no. To take it at this time. For the nurse. Is Guys, the doctor's asking after prescribing, should I take? Oh. This is for the nurse. When she gives, she takes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll get no. it. No. That's it. Yes. Oh, Guys, you are an FY to doctor in the care home or in the hospice. Your patient is Lena. She's 90 years old, suffering from metastatic pancreatic cancer. Yeah, you are, guys, I'm giving you what you need. Please make sure this is the prescription as it is. There is no patient here in the palliative care, no patient. The station I gave you, I've just give, either there is patient, in this case, maybe the medication is not written and the question you'll ask the patient. Or there is no patient and the medication is there. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, this case, is there a patient in palliative care? No. Okay? No patient. Just you and the examiner and leave the examiner. Don't even look at him, yeah? Mm -hmm. Please. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, you know, before, it's just like... <laughs> Things that it changes and it makes so much like, you know, fun and it's interesting. People, before, <laughs> before I used to say to them, when you go to the cubicle and if there's no patient, verbalize. While you are, <laughs> while, while you are writing down, verbalize, you know, I'm prescribing the medication for such and such, date of birth, such and such, you know, address, nothing. Don't look at the examiner. Until one of the doctors is, is with us in the academy now, he's working in the academy with us. Until one of the doctors, he was verbalizing, and the examiner said to him, just to keep quiet and build up his grade. <laughs> <laughs> he, passed, he passed the station, but every time when he comes out, when he came out, what happened? He said, you know, I was feeling and I was verbalizing, and just to keep quiet and build up his grade. That was so funny, like. So, since then I said, don't verbalize. In case he's angry, in case he's upset, just fill it. He said to him, just keep quiet and fill your prescription. No. <laughs> anyway, 90 years old, suffering from pancreatic cancer. Other information, the patient is terminally ill. Look, Can't swallow. not eating or drinking. Can't swallow. Palliative care has been decided. What you must do, prescribe the patient the medications. Then, guys, this is the question. 
Yeah? Then they give you another paper. With the patient what? Minimal patient what? Information. Details. <clears throat> Lena Brown, date of birth, 2nd of July, 1931. Address, 13, whatever, Liverpool. Allergy, no known allergy. <coughs> Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Clear, guys. And the medications. <coughs> and what? The medications. And please, these are the medications. You're not gonna bring any other medications. Write them down with the dose. And it's always filled. The dose. It's for you just to fill. You don't need to open the BNF. No need to open. BNF. So at all. So now I'll give you the medications. You just need to get used to writing them. What are the medications? Morphine, 5 mg, subcutaneous, 4 hourly. Morphine, 5 mg, just keep quiet and finish. <laughs> Morphine, 5 mg, subcutaneous, every 4 hourly. Cyclizine, 50 mg, subcutaneous, 8 hourly. What time is it? Seven. 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 Quarter to seven. Sorry? Quarter to seven. Quarter to seven, yeah. Dr. Sabrina. Okay. Metazolam, 2.5 mg, subcutaneous, six hourly. 2.5 mg, subcutaneous, six hourly. I see from my... 20 mg, subcutaneous, 4 hourly. Atorvastatin, 40 mg, per oral, in the evening. 40 mg, per, per oral, once daily. Sorry? Atorvastatin. Yeah, but I, I need to put atorvastatin here. In the regular. You're going to put it in the regular now. Okay? Guys, did you write the medications? Morphine, 5 mg, subcutaneous for hourly. Cyclizine, 50 mg, subcutaneous, 8 hourly. Metazolam, 25 mg, sorry, 2.5 mg, subcutaneous, 6 hourly. Hyoceine bromide, 20 mg. Subcutaneous four hourly. Atorvastatin 40 mg per oral once daily. Clear. Now, where should I fill the palliative care? Uh, regular. regular or as required? Regular. Guys, PRN, palliative care. Okay? Okay. Unless they wrote clearly, yeah, regular. But in all on all palliative care, they will write for you PRN. Okay. So yes, it's it will be mentioned PRN. What if they don't mention PRN? Then you can write them regular. But in the exam, they write PRN as required. As required, they will write as required. As required. As required. As required. If they don't regular, but it will be written as required. Okay. Now, do you need to open the BNF? Why? Everything is there. Sorry? Yeah, everything is there. Everything is there. What is your example? Next one is there. So, get the prescription. Can you all please fill the prescription? Hospital number is not written. Name? Name? Lena Brown, yeah? Mm -hmm. So write down name Lena Brown. Address? Whatever address I have given you, write it down. Capital, yeah? Mm -hmm. Date of birth? Again, I have given you, I know if you didn't write it, it's fine. It is as it was given. 
2nd of July 1931. Then come to allergy. Allergy? No allergy. I told you no known allergy in the question. Yeah? No known allergy. What type of reaction? Rash or anaphylaxis? No. No, no allergy. Name? Don't forget, even if there is no allergy, sign. Okay? Don't forget to sign, guys. Yeah? Your name. You write no known allergy or you write NKDA. No known drug allergy. NKDA. Either or you write it, but you don't have time. NKDA. Write your name, my main concern. Then sign up, that's fine. As long as your name is there. Okay. Yes, it is written on the top, NKA. It's fine. Either NKA, no more allergy, NKDA. You understand? Or write it. But I would not write it because of the time. NKDA. Yeah? Clear? Yes. Then, second page. Second page, do you need the antibiotics? No. Third page, do you need the regular? No. Last page? Yes. As required. Drug, what is the drug name? Morphine. 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 Indication? Pain. Pain. Dose? Five. Sorry? Yeah. All of the medication I've given you were what? What is the root? Subcutaneous. Subcutaneous. So, subcutaneous root. Frequency? Four hours. Four hourly. Maximum. You don't need to write. Maximum 24 hours. You don't. Prescriber signature? My name. Your name? Date? Today's date? Believe? No need. Additional information? Whatever. There is no, for me, uh, there is nothing for me to write. As the, so additional information is there for you to write if there is something you need to write. Sorry? We want to advise your rate uh, with morphine. Uh, with depression. No. With depression. No, no, no. I know, I know it's a side effect, everything I know. But in palliative care, I just want them to be pain free. And some palliative care, I don't even measure their observation. Terminally ill. Did you read the question? Mm -hmm. Terminally ill is going to die. In the stage of cancer, yani, so just you know, keep them pain free. But you have a valid concern, respiratory, but don't write it. Okay? I'm now doing like left two. You have a valid concern, but don't write it. <laughs> you understand? You have a valid concern, but I'm not gonna tell you about your mom. You know, you know this kind of station? Always acknowledge the import. However, yeah. so next medication. Drug name? Cyclizine. Cyclizine. Indication? Sarkozy? Nausea. Vomiting. Nausea. Yeah? Dose? 50 mg? Root? What's the medication capital? The Yeah, yeah. What's the Root? Subcutaneous. Subcutaneous. Frequency? Four hourly. Four hourly. Jordanian people, kida hazesum, they have a corner? A corner. Seriously. Yeah? A corner and the mayor is Dr. Nagam. Ah, the kid of Homer Hawaii. Ah, and she did? Yes, yes. Yes, that's right. And then the other doctor? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's coming now. And then Dr. from behind, what's his name? Khaled. No. Dr. Khaled. No, yeah, you know? And I'm the Nagam. Anyway, so the root subcutaneous frequency? What is the frequency? A. No, 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 guys, no, no, write TDS. Eight hourly. You can write actually the frequency. Eight hourly. This is the frequency. What? Yes. Date. Today. Prescriber. Signature. Additional. Nothing. Leave pharmacy. Nothing. Guys, if you need any clarification, let me know. Sorry, no, 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 no. Next, Midazolam. Drug, drug name, Midazolam. Indication, agitation. Yeah, agitation. You know, Midazolam, they give it to calm them down. Agitation. Dose, 
2.5 mg root subcutaneous subcutaneous frequency six hour six hourly as it's written maximum dose prescriber signature your signature date leave the leave, leave the pharmacy additional information there is nothing to add additional information yeah have you seen promide drug name indication secretions it's actually for that those secretions we use why do we use i seem promote guys yes there's degrees the secretions yeah there is mucus and stuff here those 20 mg root so guys all palliative care medications subcutaneous subcutaneous okay frequency six hours six hour four hourly it's written here for hourly four. yeah your signature your date today's date nothing for you to fill here in the date and time that's not for you that's not for you date and time for who yes now what's your name doctor tanzina. doctor tanzina go back to the record where do you where do you write the statin regular so go back to the regular doctor tanzina prescribe for me statin as per the question Statin, Dr. Tanzina, 40 mg per oral once daily. And I will see how long will you take to prescribe it. I'm sure you should be quick now. Palliative care. Show me. How long? Take your time. Just once, yeah? Once in the evening. Perfect. Dr. Tanzina, can you read the question? The patient, it is written in the question, palliative, in the stage, cannot read or cannot read. <laughs> cannot swallow, cannot eat or drink. I, why do I see to a writer? Because I don't uh, write a parole. <laughs> no, no, because you say, she said that first, early, early. Okay, what well, should we fill that? So I realized, I said, leave her for now. You don't fill any oral. So in the exam, if it is written any oral medication, do you fill it? No, you don't write it. It's a mistake. It's written there. Don't fill it. Why? Because, because patient can operative swallow. cannot swallow. So please do not write it. Okay? okay. Even though it is written, do I prescribe it? No. no. Do you need to change the rule? No. Do not write any medication oral. Don't change route, don't do anything. A patient who's gonna die, why do I need to care about the cholesterol and the, and the degrees, the cholesterol level? And, she's gonna die, terminally ill, end stage of cancer. She can't eat, she can't drink, she can't swallow. Uh, do you think you're gonna check blood for her to check the cholesterol level? No. I, I said to her to write it down because I want her to make the mistake then in the exam. Dr. Tanzina, would you write uh, any oral medication in the exam? No. Okay. But I have a question. Yes. Why can't we write the same more like IV? No. Why? Because IV is considered as invasive to such patients. Imagine if a patient, Dr. Nagam, she asked a very valid question. Your question is very valid. I have to very valid question. She said, why don't we give it IV? The paracetamol tablet? Why don't we give it IV? Guys, IV in a patient who's gonna die. How would you get the veins and get the support to work, you know, we to get, it. squeeze it, huh? We get that usually. Yeah, we get, but she's saying, if a, if, a, if a medication is written or a parastamol, can we give it IV? No, crush it. Crush the parastamol. <laughs> crush it. <I'm laughs> yeah. Palliative only subcutaneous. Not even IV, subcutaneous. No, guys, palliative care, guys, please, please. Guys, please, palliative care, a patient with palliative care can be in the start of palliative care. Brother, you are diagnosed with cancer, 
and you're gonna go under preventive care. And he's in the start of that journey. And the patient can be in the stage. So a patient can be preventive care in the start of his journey, you give him IV fluid, he's eating, he's drinking, he's fine. And he's under preventive, clear? Yeah, yeah, you see patient walking, talking, diagnosed the end stage, and cancer, uh, they have cancer and it's palliative, but they are fine. You can give them fluid, you can see their veins. But patient can be palliative, but end stage. So palliative care is not, it's Wide range. stages. You understand? So in this case, can uh, <laughs> Okay, so in the stage, palliative care, cancer, pancreatic cancer, no oral, no IV, all subcutaneous. Okay. So come back to oxygen. The, leave the oxygen for now. One second. Yes. I'm trying to cover everything. So we. I know you are tired. I know you are tired. But because I'm working and it was either today or, you know, you didn't even know what I do to come from the hospital. You can't imagine. Can't even imagine. So, forget about the prescription for now because that's the best way to explain, yeah? Sorry? So, if it's written in the exam, apexaban, 5 mg, oral, once daily, for one week. Then in the same prescription, apexaban, 2.5 mg, once daily, oral, in the following week. It's an exam question. Mm -hmm. Same medication, but for this week, it's five. For the following week. Guys, forget about the prescription for now. It will be easier if you see it. Mm -hmm. So, I will come, first of all, how many boxes should I fill? One or two? Two. Two. And I will write, simply, the first box. The drug name is? The root or the dose five mg. Start the date today date. Today's date. End the date twenty seven days. Clear. Mm -hmm. Then signature and everything. No need for no need for uh, indication whatever. Then look, you see the time. And date, you remember? In the date, 1st of March, 2nd of March, 3rd of March, till 7th of March, clear? Okay. It will be given for seven days, yeah? So I will come after 7th of March and do this. What does that mean? Stop. Yeah, and uh, you can actually cross it. Mm -hmm. Only in this medication, only in this prescription, because how it is written with two dosage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Only here, mm -hmm. but the other statin by its own, you know, like, you know, yes, look, yes. I will come to the next box. A big seven, yeah? Mm -hmm. Oral, yeah, oral. What is the dose? 2.5. Following week, so we will start from when? 8th Eight. Eight. Eight of March. Guys, are you lost? No. Then ending, if it's written for a following week, for example. So 15th of March, signature, everything, look, look. And I will come here and I will do this. And I will leave this empty. Oh. What do you mean by that? Will it be given from the first to the seventh? No. That's why I closed the first week. For the nurse, doesn't get. That's it. So, if you look at the prescription, five will be given that week. Should you cross anything? No. Empty. But it's going to stop there. But this one will be given for each week. For the second week. So, that's why this is clear, yes. because we'll be given here, and this is what? Clear, because we'll be given the following week, and that week is closed. 
Are you lost? This is applied to what? You have it in the description, see. No, it doesn't make sense because in the statin, that only with one medication do dosage. That was the statin? No. But if you cross it, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Guys, are you lost? No. Okay, did this session clear anything in the prescription? The oxygen is, is uh, the question and the concentration and everything is new and is written on my phone. That's why, you know, after I finish the video, I can show you. Okay? It's just like two seconds. Okay, you guys? So, Okay, now I want to talk about the sick note. Sick note. In the sick note, in the sick note, I want to give you some principles. Some principles. Okay? What are the principles of the sick note? In the sick note, I have one, two, three stations. Three stations sick note. The first one. Do you mind if I tell about the sick note stations? Yeah. So the first note, sick note station, is about 35 years old. Alicia, you need to understand the question. Presented to Dayani two weeks ago, two weeks back. After car crash, after car crash, she was sent home the same day as she was fit and well with no injuries. The question is very clear. Today she's coming to you because she has a concern. Anybody is lost with the question. How is she? Okay. Okay. When she when she was discharged a week uh, two weeks ago, was there any injuries? No. Okay. But she's coming two weeks later. Can it be that she's coming now and she has injury? Mm -hmm. Yes. Whiplash appears later. Some injuries appears later. But can it be that she's fit and well? Mm -hmm. It can be. So now, when you open the cubicle, hi. How can I help you? Confirm my identity, doctor. I won't seek note. May I ask why? Doctor, because I had an accident two weeks ago. I'm, I'm sorry for what you went through. I can see from my note that you did have an accident. Can you tell me what happened? Doctor, I had a car crash. I was driving and I had a car crash. Was anybody in the car? No, I was by myself. Was anyone injured? No. What about the other vehicle? Was anyone injured? No, doctor. Why I'm asking about the other vehicle? Maybe it's supposed to automatic status order. Maybe someone was in the vehicle, they, they went to the hospital and she was fine, but this person died. You understand? Mm -hmm. Nothing. Everything will be negative and you are actually going through the history as quick as I go now. Nothing. How it happened? How did it happen? After that, what was done for you? Doctor, they've done all the investigation. Everything was fine. So may I ask why do you want that? Seek note. If you are fine. Doctor, I just want a sick note. This is one scenario. Because, because I was driving and I was drunk. And the police stopped me. 
and because my job depending on and now I'll be stopped from driving so I want to make money get money because sick note guys if I get sick note I will get paid even though I'm sick but if she does not have sick note and she stopped her from driving what's gonna happen she's gonna be sucked that's it I mean no because we need you driving but you don't drive so no job that's her concern that she wants to have extend her sickness to start getting paid until she find another Car. job that does not depend on her driving. driving. You understand her concern. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. For example, I work as a driver in a company. I got to stop drinking and driving. The police stopped me. The police will ban me from driving. Mm -hmm. Then can I work? But if I get sick note, the work will pay me until I get the time to find another job. That's her concern. However, she mentioned to you that she is what? She was what? Drunk. Drinking and driving. Guys, drinking and driving in UK is considered as, as if it's suicide. It's not suicide. It's considered. Because if you are drunk and you drive, the car is a weapon. Driving and drunk. So then you will dig in driving. While she was drunk, she will tell you I had an argument, ask her what happened because she will have low mood and if it's such a case, low mood, drink and drive and this and that and you know, she had an argument and she was trying, she was very, you know, low and she, you can give her a sick note because she is low. Can you give her a sick note? Yes. Yes, yes because she is low or if she drinks a lot because you'll ask her how much she drink, how much, you know. Can you give her sick note because she's alcoholic and you can offer her rehabilitation? Yes. Yes, yes. that's the only two cases. Really? Sorry? Alcoholic, I can give her sick note? If she wants to quit. I can give her sick note for this. <clears throat> she'll need to be rehabilitated. So rehabilitation means she cannot do anything. Yes. Guys, did you understand the differences in the station? Yes. So if a patient came to you, She's fine, fit and well. You take history, everything goes fine. No drink and drive, nothing. Can you give her a sick note? No. no. I'm really sorry. We cannot give you sick note. And the understanding is that you actually need to extend your sickness. But I can offer you, I can tell you about Citizen Advice Bureau. Citizen Advice Bureau, it's an office for advice. Citizen what? Advice. Where they can advise you. You can have benefits, yeah? So you can go there and you can seek advice. But you, can you give her sick note? But the second situation, she was drunk and driving. She was drunk and driving. You took history, sick, uh, she's low, feeling low. Partner problems, she had an argument, she left. Or history, she's drunk and she drinks a lot and she's alcoholic. Can you give her sick note? But you will clearly say, as you're feeling low, as you are low, we can give you sick note to have a rest. Or you can say, as you drink alcohol, would you like to quit? We can help you with that. We can give you sick note and you can go for rehabilitation. You can give sick note. Clear. Yes. I have given you two, three scenarios here. Huh? Yes, yes, you can ask. No, 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 no. If she's not going to be treated and shown sick note, no sick note. Sick note only to manage her because either low mood or alcoholic or... Okay? Because is alcoholic, I mean, if, if, if someone is alcoholic, is, can, is he a patient? Yes. 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 Guys, clear. In this station, there is no sick note there. In the cubicle? You're not going to have sick note. There is no sick note to fill. That's what I'm saying. It's just a counseling station. However, if there is a sick note there, yeah, you can fill it. If it's there on the table. I will tell you now how, yeah? Come to the second scenario. The second scenario.
a mother a mother of or leave the second scenario that matching make this the third scenario the chicken box third the second scenario 25 years old Nicole presented to the hospital a &E in the morning as she had a fall on the way to her house she had a fall where? on the way to her house x-ray was done X-ray is normal. X-ray is normal of the of the ankle of her ankle. There is no fracture. She only has sprain. She's coming to see you now for the X-ray result and because she has a concern. How can I help you? Or I can see from my note which start. Can I say to her, how can I help you? Or can I say to her, I can see from my note that you presented in the morning with a phone. Which one should I start with? I can see from my note that you came to the hospital in the morning after falling. Yes, doctor. Can you please tell me what happened? Doctor, I was walking in the, in the morning after work and I had a phone in work. But you can see that she had a fall outside work. And in the morning, doctor, it was written, documented that I had a fall outside work. But please, can you change that note? That's your concern. She wants you to change? No. Can you change the note? No. no. I'm really sorry. We cannot change the note. But may I ask you why you want to change it? Well, because in the morning I forgot. And I told them that I fell uh, outside work, but no, I fell in work, at work. Well, I'm sorry, I cannot change the note. However, I can write a note. I can add an extra note that you wanna change where you had a fall. Yes, you can, but you cannot change that note. Then take history from here. How did that happen? Doctor, I fell. Okay, doctor, uh, do I have a fracture then? We had the x-ray with us now. The x-ray will be in the cubicle. Have the x-ray, explain it to her. Guys, there's no fracture. It's a clear x-ray. No fracture, nothing. Okay? As you can see here, this is the ankle. This is the foot. There is no discontinuation of your bone. You see how I talk to her? Yeah, as you can see, it's all straight. There is no fracture there. So, doctor, how would you manage me? Management. What is the management? The management is nothing but price. So do price and avoid anything haram. Do price and avoid anything haram. I mean, suggest to you, you know, so you obviously, I mean, do what you want. I do what I want, but I'm just making it to, to remind myself. So when I say avoid anything haram, I'm not saying avoid it. I'm just like, so remember, do what? Price. price. Avoid haram. Avoid haram? What is the meaning of avoid haram? H for heat. heat. A for alcohol. R for running. So avoid alcohol, avoid running, avoid heat, because all this will increase that. And the M stands for? Massage. Massage, because the massage will increase the blood supply, will increase the swelling. So avoid harm. Haram, harm, whichever, any way can remind you. H, avoid what? H, A, R, M. Heat, alcohol, running, massage. Because she has a sprain. Do price. What is price? What is P stand for? Protection. So, make sure you protect it. R for? I for? Ice. C for? Compression. E for? Elevation. B, protect the area that's injured. R, have a rest. I, ice, ice. compression to decrease the swelling. And E is for elevation. This is the management here. Do you want to verbalize examination? I can check your ankle, yes. For any body tenderness, yes, still, it's fine. So please, this is station.
What is her main concern? She want to change the note. Can you change the note? No, you can't. But you can add. Then take some history about what happened. How did it happen? And when you come to the hospital, what was done? They've done x-ray doctor. Would you like me to tell you the result? Guys, don't forget that the x-ray will be in the cubicle. Very important, Dr. Nagam, that you will have the x-ray and explain to her nicely and slowly. Guys, this is your bone, as you can see. It's all in straight lines. Usually we suspect a fracture. If there's any discontinuation of the bones here, but it's all straight and nice, I don't suspect any fracture. However, we are suspecting that you might have sprain. Doctor, how would you manage it? Well, there are things that you will do, and there are things that you will avoid. Don't say that with haram. Fail. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> Fail. Yeah? This is for us to just like avoid harm. Yeah? Don't. So avoid heat, alcohol, running, running massage. Do price. Protect the area. R for rest. I for ice. C for compression, E for elevation. And all with safety netting. If it's not improving after two weeks, you may need phase you. Will she ask for sick notes or not? She's asking. No, changing notes. No, no, she's asking for a change in the note because. She wants no, to get paid. But I consider it as. Note, yeah. Note. You understand? She would change note. Sorry? I can add that such and such she wants to. You know, she stated that she came in the afternoon and she's telling me that in the morning uh, she was confused and she gave them the wrong, but I cannot delete or change, okay? Now, the third station. Guys, don't worry. I can't even read it. Just, I, I will explain it to you. Just, just you know you spread it and, you know? The third station is about a mother who's coming to the hospital, sorry, to uh, the GP, or he's ringing the GP. Why? Why she's ringing the GP? She's calling the GP because her son, her little boy, had chicken box. And she knows about it. She said, I know about the chicken box. This is chicken box. And I want to have some time off to look after him. So what is the station about? <laughs> what is the station about? A mother who's bringing, who's calling phone consultation because she wants to have a sick note or a fake note or she wants to have a note that she can't go to work because her son is having chicken box. How do you know he's having a chicken box? I know, doctor, I, I want a chicken box. And I want to have a sick note. Because I'm looking after him. In this station, you will have in the exam, in the cubicle, what? Sick note. Can you see? Yes. Fake note. Sick note. You will have it in the cubicle. Okay. Do not fail. Do not fail. This is the NHS. Okay. And this is the best way of life, you know, NHS. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you what the NHS says, and let me tell you how to approach the station. This is station, how many patients do you have in the station? Two. You have the mother, and you have her son. She's ringing you. She's saying to you, my son has. He's not been examined. He's not been seen by anyone. She knows it's chicken box. So, do you want to take like two minutes history? Yeah, why? No, no dehydration. It could be meningitis. She's going to tell you rash and fever and... So please, two minute history. How do you know it's a, meninge it's a chicken box? Tell me about the rash. Describe the rash for me. When did the rash start? Apart from the rash, anything else? Yes, fever doctor, explore the fever. And then child from light, ask. Next stiffness, ask and vomiting ask and is he playful ask how is he is he playful and that's the answer is finished one and a half minutes guys do you understand the question she's calling you saying i know about i've had 
my, my other son with the chicken box, and I know about it. Is it a chicken box? Can you take what she's saying? But Dr. Yunus, it's not medicine station. You just need to execute meningitis. See? That's it. Meningitis. Don't, do you want to ask a bird? How is he? Is he playful? Yes. Done. No dehydration. He's playful. Is he eating and drinking? Yes. Uh, describe the rash for me. And very important to ask when did the rash? Start. And very important to say when did the rash start and to see if the rash crossed it or not. Is it a vesicle that's still full of fluids or is it? Why do I need to ask what is it crusted or? Yeah, because that's now. Should I take? Should I take him to school or not? Okay. And exclude meningitis, fever, shadow <laughs> from light, vomiting, and that's it. Clear? Mm -hmm. How many patients do we have here? Mm -hmm. The child is done. It is chicken box. Mm -hmm. But what about the mother? Mm -hmm. The mother? Yeah. She won't seek note or she she's looking after her son and she won't fit note. Can I give her? We ask her about some. First of all. Chicken box, how many days is it's usually contagious? Five, five, five. five days. Guys, when the rash is crusted, mm -hmm. there is no, no contagious. It's no contagious. Can he go to school if it's crusted? Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. yes, he can. So that's why I said take history about the rash. Mm -hmm. Because if it's crusted, you can tell her. Mm -hmm. He can go to school. Yeah. No need even for anything. He can go to school. That's an easy way. You don't even need to look after it. You, he can go to school. So, the mother. The mother. Guys, I like always to explain the stations in a non-scripted way. Yes. What you need to know, what you need to do. So, when you go yourself, you don't need... Yes. No, no, no. Child, the mother. Child, history. Excuse me. Mother, two things from the mother. You need to ask her herself if she will, mm -hmm. because she may catch it. Has she had a chicken box before? Do you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. And that's the end of the story. Have you had a chicken box before? Yes, I had it when I was young. How do you feel yourself? I feel well. That's number one. Number two is her concern, which is? Take note. Pregnancy. Yeah, pregnant, yeah. Number two, her concern, which is? Take note. Ah, uh, can I give her sick note? I told you there is an easy way before anything. If I ask about the rash and it's crusted, does she need anything? No. It's an easy way. Rather than saying to her, well, you know, we cannot give you sick note because we, we give it only to sick people. The rash is crusted. It's not infectious anymore. You can send him to nursery. And you said he's fit and well. He's eating and drinking. It's fine. Okay. But what if the rash has been there for like three days and some of it crusted and some of it not? Can I give her sick note? Okay, now guys, I told you in the chicken box how many days the rash takes? Five days. Five days. And NHS said you cannot give a sick note for less than seven days. There is no such thing called sick note for less than no, so it's not exist. All what you do, you inform, you inform the nursery and you inform your work your employer my son is sick you inform them you email them and i'm looking after my son there is no sick note for less than seven days so number one if you are off work sick for seven days or less your employer should not ask you for medical evidence that you have been ill instead they can ask you to confirm that you have been ill. So no medical evidence. No sick note, basically. If you are off sick for seven days or less, your employer should not ask you for an evidence. There is no sick note for less than seven days. Clear. But he can ask me for what? No, they say he can ask you instead to confirm that I have been ill. Which is not sick note, not kind of sick note, but for example, for example, if I go 
or if I go to the GP, he can prescribe for me a prescription for three days. Okay. For my son, some paracetamol, kalpa, that's no sick note. Okay. Seven days or less, no sick note. All what, that's what I'm going to tell here. Just tell your employer that you are looking after your son and he's quite sick. Just inform your employer. Can you? By the way, that's the NHS, yeah? Yes. Okay. More than seven days? Yes, if you are off for more than seven days, your employer will ask you for a fit note or a statement of fitness for work, which is the same. Same. Sick note for one week, so which means after one week you are fit. So, why do you need to tell us this? Give us the station and that's it. Let's go home. Maybe tomorrow you'll go to the exam. And the patient is, ha is asking for a sick note and she's having a condition or something that will take like gastroenteritis, for example. Can you give her a sick note? No. No, no. no. Gastroenteritis, she cannot go to work. Yeah. Yeah. A contagious and they will even last more than seven days and she's sick, dehydrated, drowsy. You will give her a sick note. So my point is the rules. What is the rule? What are the rules? Less than seven days. More than seven days. You give sick note. Less than seven days, just to inform you. Okay. As simple as that. Doctor, this is in case she has the rash herself, right? Even if she doesn't have the rash, even if she doesn't have the rash, she will inform the employer, my son is sick. That's it. Uh, so if it's less than seven days and contagious, still no sick note. If, if she has something that is less than seven days and it's contagious. If it's less than seven, like her son, it's contagious mm -hmm. yeah. for only five days. Yeah. So it's even the period is less than seven days. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if her son is sick, not chicken pox, but if, if he's sick more than seven days, do we give her a sick note? No. Sick note only for sick people. For her? No. Right. If she's the only one who's caring, who's caring. Care or not, yeah. but you don't need this. Yeah, my, my, my. Don't talk about the exam. No. Okay? You don't need this. So, I can say I can give you 150 scenario. So, let's talk. Less than seven days? No. More than seven days? Yes, you do give sick note. The sick note is given to the patient or to the carer? The sick note I give to patient. I don't give carer. Sick note. Yes. Clear. Yes. In chicken pox, if a rash is still not crusted and she wants carer note, we don't give it because it will only take five days. Guys, in, in chicken pox, yeah. only five days. Yeah. That's why I said take history about and she will yeah. tell it's crusted. Mm -hmm. Then, crust, go to school. Let him go to school. No need to. Okay? So, how can I get the sick note? How do you get it? Your GP. Can, can you call and the GP will give you the sick note over the phone and then you go and pick it? No, no, you have to assess. They have to assess you. I'm just giving you in case of, okay? So, charges for sick note? Is there any charge for sick note? No, don't be shocked because for them to write it in the NHS here, that means that it could be asked. Doctor, do I pay for it? And then, no, understand? So this is basically one page and about that, what do you need to know about sick note? Is this online? Okay, sorry? Is this online? Yes. Now. Guys. If in the exam there is a sick note, and you will fill it. If in the exam there is what? Sick a sick note, and you will fill it. This is the sick note. Okay, yeah. So this is the sick note, yeah? By the way, it is very simple. Very simple. I will read it to you. And you don't need to memorize it. I will read it to you. By the way, two sides, yeah? It's not really so every two, three doctors. 
اوكي انا جاي اديها لك انت هاخد اثنين اخد There's two more guys. لا لا. واحدة هنا. It's fine. واحدة هنا. Guys. Guys, as simple as guys. Guys. It's two sides, you see? But it's like this. One side you fill, one side you don't. It's that side. Patient name. What will you write? Patient name. Mr. Royce. Mr. Royce. I assessed your case on, and then it's written date. <laughs> And because of the following condition, and there is a box empty. Diagnosis, because of chicken box, because of meningitis, because of... I advise you that you are, and there is two boxes, choose one. You are not fit, or you may be fit for work. You are not fit. If you're going to prescribe it, you are not fit, clear. Then go down. This will be the case for. Can you see? You don't feel anything in the middle. This will be the case for. How many how many weeks you are in the chicken? Then not for. For example, for example, I'm writing it five days. Tanzina, Tanzina, what is the minimum time for sick note? Seven days. So can you write it for five days? So for example, if I'm giving it for two weeks, so I will write. This is a case. This will be a case for two weeks from today till two weeks. Guys, are you following? Mm -hmm. Doctor signature, your signature, date of statement. Okay. Today's date, and you don't need to write doctor's address. In the doctor address part, we just put the stamp. That's it. Again, again, okay. again, doctor. Guys, because some of them don't have the paper. Can you read loud, please? Patient name. Patient name. I assist. Your case on. On what? What I'm going to write? Today. Date. And because of the following conditions. Because of the following condition. What happens? Diagnosis. I advise you that. I advise you to what? That what? You are? Not fit. Not fit. Then this will be the case for, for example, 14 days, two weeks. From tell doctor signature signature date today's date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, in the task, in the task, the sick note will be there, and they will give you a case of a more than one week sick note and patient with sick note. For how long I know that the... It's fine if you write two weeks. It's fine if you write two weeks. As long as it's more than one week. Okay. Press, give the sick note and it's always for two weeks. You cannot write a sick note for more than two weeks. Okay. I choose this box according to scenario. Yes. What, what is the presentation? I will always choose the first one. Not fit for work. Okay. And what would be the presentation in that case? The presentation is any case where the patient... Uh, I'm asking what usually came. Ah, no. Usually they brought the chicken box and they don't write it. The chicken box and don't write it. Yeah. And then the chicken box, I will find it. It's there, but don't fill it. Yeah. 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 Anything less than seven days, you don't give. Anything less than seven days, you don't give sick note. Guys, I'm done and I'm really tired. You know, I started the, seriously, I started work. I was in the ward round at eight in the morning, in the hospital, not at home, in the hospital. So I'm really, but, but we finished, but we finished. Did it clear any doubts? Yes.